Hi, my name is Mark and I'd like to welcome you to this tutorial about Prithilek. I will start with a short introduction of the basics in this fight. Next, I have put in a gameplay to show what I have explained. I hope you will learn by this video since it's my first tutorial made. This is a two phase bus fight. First phase requires two teams. One will be staying on the ground and on head. Second will need to get on top of the web to fight with it. When entering combat, she will cast Venom Ring, a small but red white AoE that can be prevented with some defensive cooldown. As soon as possible, turn down Cinderweb spinners for the climbable threats and to make them do a lot less damage while being underground. A tank is always the first to take a threat, followed by a healer. Any assigned DPS should follow as soon as possible. Spinners being taunted killed to prevent high rate damage, but they are still last priority on the ground. Now we will get constant groups of Cinderweb spiderlings from specific locations around the roof. It's very important that these ad will be slowed AoE as quick as possible. They cannot be aggroed, so it's just about killing them fast. The reason for this is to prevent them from getting to the next ad, Cinderweb Drone. The spiderlings from before will try to reach it. If reached, the drone will consume and heal itself for 20% HP, do 20% more damage and be 20% faster. The tank pick up the drone and keep it faced away from the raid because of Boiling Splatter, a 60 degree 500 yards forward cone spell that deals around 60k damage. If the drone runs out of energy, it will climb to Bethelag and take her energy which take down the time to the next motoring devastation. If a second drone spawns while the first is still up, the ground DPS is too low. Now to the team at Bethelag. At the top there will be meteors falling, hitting in a 7 yard radius for 40k HP and burning a hole in the web. When out of energy, she will cast smoldering devastation that will inflict 40k to all on her level. The team will have to get down by the middle where she was hanging from before pulling. Depending on how Bethelag's energy has depleted, she will enter phase 2 and come down after her third smoldering devastation. All DPS will have to focus on the remaining spiderlings. Since she will cast Consume, that heals her for 10% HP per spiderling consumed. Two tanks is needed since she cast the Widow's Kiss that will decrease the target's healing received by 1% every 2 seconds for 20 seconds and do fire damage to all allies within 10 years. Healers and DPSs stack up behind Bethelag. The two tanks standing on the other side are a little separated so the one with Widow's Kiss won't damage the other tank. Next I have added budget to show what I have explained. First we have the spinners occurring which is being counted down by the group. Next up we have the spiderlings appearing in the background which is being slowed and AOE'd by the group.
Then the drone is appearing, which will be picked up by the tank facing away from the ring. seen from the tank And at last, Bethelag herself, facing the two tanks separated from each other, with the healers and DGS stacking out behind. I don't have footage of the top fight, but it's pretty simple. Don't stand in the videos and jump down on small directors. Oh, no loot for me. 